Welcome, my friends, to Darren Bernard's Poor Boy Crafts. Uh, today, uh, we're going to do an elephant from uh, Greek mythology uh, with using an elephant from uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, remember, if you like what you see, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, if I get 50 subscribers by December, I'm going to be giving that uh, dungeon away that I created uh, several uh, weeks back. So I hope we can get to that 50 subscribers and uh, hit that share button and uh, hit the notification. That way you can get uh, notified for when I make videos. And uh, we're going to have some fun here. So uh, starting off, uh, we'll start off with, first of all, of course, the elephant and a two inch by four inch piece of foam. Go ahead and graph it out to uh, one inch squares and uh, get yourself your little metal brush. And we're not gonna make it look like wood. You wanna make it look like ground. So just kind of squiggly it around, just like that, all over it. Dif different angles, just like that. And uh, we're gonna paint that black. So we'll get some black paint, open that sucker up get your wide brush just I mean you can bring out your little tray here put some in there because we're gonna be using a lot of the black today because there's a lot of different things we'll be painting on this elephant to get it to look like an elephant you know sort of like the ones from Lord of the Rings but uh just go ahead and start painting that down this is the first coat. All right, we got that on there, got her dry. I don't know if you see the little uh, indentions on there. Gives a little bit of texture. Uh, at this point, we can actually glue the elephant onto its base. So we use our trusty little glue gun here. Put a little bit of glue on each of the feet of the elephant. Elephant. It's an elephant right now, but soon will be an elephant font. So glue that on there. Use our, not our wire brush, but our brush brush to kind of smooth out any of the glue that might have squeezed up there because we don't want any weeds or anything like that around it. And we're going to set that aside and let that dry. Because the top, we're going to build a base on it. And the top of it measures about two inches. So that's about the size of the base. So we're going to go to our skinny sticks that you can get from Walmart. Uh, I paid like $2.97 for the pack or $3.97 for the pack. I'm going to grab out a whole mess of them. Now we're going to cut them down to three or two inch uh, marks. So we're going to cut about, probably about 20 of them because we're going to make a top and a bottom. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, we've uh, cut a whole mess of them. Now they're a little uh, edge or kind of rough, so we're going to take the filer and then we're going to start filing all of them. Okay, we filed all the edges so that they're smooth uh, and they're all pretty much the same size. Now, just like we made the flat doors, if you want to check out that video, just go to my page and you could check that uh, video out. That's pretty much what we're going to do here. Uh, we'll get a piece of paper. Then we'll glue one stick down. Glue the another stick right next to it. Just like this. And then we can continue on. Till we get it all on there. All right, there we go. Just to make a look at this, what we was trying for was a two inch by two inch board. So now we can cut this out, just like, like so. Cup of them are a little longer, so we just Cut over top of them. These blades will go through it. They are sharp, so be careful. Kids, get your parents' help if you have to. There we go. We have a board two inches by two inches. Now we're going to put a frame around that. Now these two are the same size, so we can glue them right to there. So we'll go ahead and put some glue right on there. 
angle it up, wiping away the excess, just like that. Go to the other side. Attach it as well. There we go, got them. Now these are gonna be a little bit longer because we added some so some length to it. So we grab out our uh, board, just hold it up against there, mark it, take our cutters, cut it, take our sander. If I can find our sander, there it is. Sand it, then we'll glue it on and do the same thing to the other side. All righty, we got that on there. <clears throat> now uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and give this a first coat of black. And like I said, this is in many different steps here. And we'll set this over to dry. While that's drying, we'll go ahead and work a little bit on our elephant here. We're going to grab a uh, pipe cleaner. If you'll notice, this pipe cleaner looks a little different on one end. And it's what I've done is I've taken a lighter and just went down. Now be careful. This is hot. And all we're doing is burning down the pipe cleaner. Making sure that's all burnt down. That's what that does. A little warm still. That creates a coil on there. And that's going to create a bob wire effect. And we're going to even create a more bob wire effect by tying knots in it. We want, to want these knots to be really tight. Just like that. <clears throat> Just a few. But we're going to want them real close together. Yep. One more in there ought to do it. If I can get her in there. Don't know if I can get it in there or not. Nope, ain't gonna be able to get it in there. That's alright. We got two in there and that'll be fine. Because we're gonna tie them to the tusks. And we'll do that by Putting a little bit of glue right at the, at the edge of one of the tusks. Wrap that around the tusk. Let that set. Takes a little while for that to set up. That's set on one side. We'll go ahead and work on the other side. Making sure to wrap that sucker around there tight. Oh, straighten that back out. Do that again. Just like that. We 
we have any excess glue kind of trying to work with it and you can actually make it pointy once it starts drying up a bit then we're going to take our cutters actually I think we're going to use the, these cutters right here Yeah, they work really well. These are little dog toenail clippers. Get them at Dollar Tree, and they work really well for snipping stuff like that off. There we go. Now we got our bob wire on there. Now I'm going to add one more thing to the front of here. I've cut off another tusk from another elephant that I'm going to glue on there. Before I do that, I want to put another string of bob wire on that on this one. So I'm gonna glue that. I'm gonna kind of hook it. Hook it in hope because these are this littler one is kind of weaker so I'm going to hook it on there and then add the add the glue yeah I think that'll work better hook it on there first then add the glue trial and error sometimes there we go I got me more bob wire on there now I'm going to put this right in the mouth of the other elephant so I want to put a lot of glue in there Glue that in there. Just like that. There we go. Kind of smooth down that glue there a bit. Now we're starting to look like a mythical creature. Alrighty. Place these back up so I don't lose them. I have a tendency to lose my tools if I don't put them back up. Now, that piece of paper that I just had, because we're going to cut off some bands to go around his legs, because he is a domestic creature. I use him for a war machine. So, approximately a little shy of a quarter inch. About that width. Just about. I'm going to cut a couple of strips of them. And then we're going to go ahead and paint these, but we're going to paint them a silver. If I can find my silver, I have a gram hologram that's not it I had my silver out here oh there she is glittery silver there we go give us up a little brush here Paint that down. I'll go ahead and paint them down and let them dry. Alrighty, we got them painted. 
one of them ripped on me but that's okay we can actually still use it now we're going to very carefully put some glue on the strip wrap it around one of the ankles meet up with it and cut off the excess might have to wrap it around a bit more or if you can trim it off go ahead and trim it off there we go just like that we're going to do that to all four legs Alrighty, next step, I got some toothpicks that I painted black, okay? Now, we're going to attach little spikes to each of these feet. Now, how I'm going to do that is, I'm going to grab just the tip in one of my pliers and snip it. And I'm going to glue it ever so carefully. And then attach it. And wait for it to dry. And hopefully I didn't get any glue on the pliers. Ah, perfect. Just like that. I want to go around all the feet and put two or three on each one of them, just enough to make it look good. Alrighty, got the spikes around the feet, and I had some extras, so I went ahead and put some spikes right around the uh, right around the uh, the tusk and around the trunk. Got them all on there. Now the spikes are all done. Now we can concentrate on building the uh, podium on his back. I see that this is dry now. So this is going to go right here. So we're going to have to glue that right on the back there. So we just bring some glue right in there. Simply glue it right on there. Now, sometimes you might have to put a bracer or something down there on that to hold it, but I think this will actually hold in there. We shall see. Take a little while for that to glue, to hold tight. Now, glue itself can be a brace once we get that glued in there. We can add more glue right in there and that'll harden and become just as good as any brace. Don't worry, just a plastic elephant won't hurt him. If he does, he'll say something. It's hurting? Nah. He's tough. Go around to the other side. Oop. Be careful of my spikes. Put a little bit more glue on this side to add for a brace. There we go. Hold it and let that dry. Might take a few minutes. All right, that's glued on there. Now for aesthetic looks, uh, what's left over for that silver that we used on around the uh, legs, we're going to attach as a uh, belly strap. So we're going to right in the middle of our thing here. We're going to put a little bit of glue, fling that underneath of here, and attach it. 
So let that dry a bit. Now this does not hold it on, but it just makes it look like it holds it on. Come up to the top here. A little bit of glue on the other side, right in the middle. Bring that up. Hold it till it dries. Really simple. And then snip off the remainder. Try not to glue yourself to it. There we go. That makes it look like it looks like that is holding that. There we go. And that part is done. Now we're going to get ready to attach the roof of this. We'll need four poles, which I've already cut and sanded. They're approximately about, oh, I've got one a little bit too long. They're approximately about three inches tall. Wooden dowels, about eighth inch dowels, about uh, three inches tall. And then we got the top over here, which is the same as the bottom, except it is three inches by two inches. Same way we made the bottom, but instead of two by two, it's three by two. And we're going to place that right on top. But to do that, we're going to have to glue the poles in the top and then try to get them down to the two inch mark. So you want to kind of glue them in. I'm going to leave this so you can see. You want to glue them in kind of at an angle. So we're going to put a big dab of glue in each corner. And we want to try, kind of gauge that of about two inches. Like I said, at this juncture, it's just guesswork. We don't have to be precise, but if we get a little close to it, when we turn it over and attach it to that, we'll be able to stretch them out to where we pretty much think it needs to be. Okay, just like that. So now we'll put a dab of glue in each corner here. I see I got a, got one fall in there. That's okay. We'll stretch it up. Stretch it back up here. Now we'll stretch out all of our sticks in two corners just like that and we'll kind of hold them into the corners until they set there we go into the corners until they set Just like that. There we go. Now we made that high so you'd be able to stick your figurines in there real easy. But we've also got some red toothpicks. Just like we made these spikes, we're going to make some spikes to come out from these all over it. But these we're going to make a little bit longer. So more like about yay long. So we shouldn't need the other pliers. So these we can go like just about like that. So we're going to go all around the top just kind of decorate them all over the place. Alright, now we got all of them attached real good. So we're going to go around and all this black here, we've got a nutmeg brown that we're going to go ahead and paint that the best we could. Probably should have painted the nutmeg brown before we attached all them attachments, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and paint all that up and see what it looks like when we got that part done. <clears throat> okay, that turned out to be pretty good. That gives me a uh, pretty good, That'll, that's going to dry a little bit darker and give a couple of uh, dimensions to that. We're going to go ahead and get a little bit more red. Maybe put a little bit of red on the uh, spikes, like that, and then on the barbed wire there, a little bit along the spikes there. 
but this will pretty much do it. Uh, now you can always paint the base some more colors if you want to, like paint it some gold, like it's going through some fields or whatever, but this is pretty much the build, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, you could do a little bit more things to it, but this will give you a nice elephant to run through some of your, uh, on some of your campaigns and uh, give you some place to put some evil guys to have your people come run against, and I'm pretty sure that this will cause some damage. So uh, y'all have fun out there and enjoy your gaming and enjoy your crafts. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and have a blessed day. Enjoy.